All right there, guys and gals of YouTube. Thanks for coming back for another episode of DIY Amateur Hour. Today we're working on the Fiero. Uh, haven't worked on it in quite a while. Um, but the suspension is completely rebuilt, as you're gonna see. And now we're doing the alignment. So today we're gonna be doing a DIY string alignment on this car. Just trying to get the alignment close enough to drive it around a little bit. Probably not gonna get it perfect, but we'll give it a shot. home string alignment. Simply enough, you take two jack stands and you run some string or line between the two of them. And you can see here in the back, we have the string is just barely making contact with the wheel in both the front and the back, which should give us a straight line all the way up to that front jack stand. Keep in mind when doing this DIY home alignment is it only works if the back wheels are aligned properly. Now the car drove fine before I rebuilt the front suspension, so that tells me that the backs are probably fine and good enough to go off of for the front. Next step is going to be take a measurement on this front wheel from the string. We're gonna do with the face of the wheel in the back and then from the string to the face of the wheel in the front. And we're gonna get those two measurements as close to each other as you can. If anything, you want the front measurement to be just a little bit longer than the back, give you a little bit of toe in, and that will help the car drive straighter down the road. Okay, so in order to get our measurements from the face of the wheel to the string, looks like we're about just over one and three quarters, maybe one and seven eighths. So you come to the back, and from the string, from the wheel to the string, looks like we're just about two and a quarter. Two and a quarter minus one and seven eighths. A little less than half an inch, four tenths of an inch maybe. So what we're gonna do is go underneath the car and take out uh, almost half an inch of toe in the front. On this car, the only tools you'll need is a 7 8 inch wrench to loosen the jam nut and a 13 millimeter wrench to do your actual adjustment. So, let's get into the car. Alright, so this is our steering rack on the 87 Fiero. Um, right there, that silver nut is the jam nut. So we're going to take that jam nut off and spin the shaft in order to bring that tie rod in about half an inch almost. Uh, just take note that this is for a manual steering rack. This car does not have power steering. So doing it on your car with power steering is most likely going to be different. So the first thing we're going to do is loosen this, loosen this jam nut here. Of course it helps if we go the right way. So, now that it's loose, we need to move it further than the distance that we're trying to adjust, just so that it's out of the way. And we're moving it in because we're bringing the toe in. If we're bringing the toe out, we could just leave it where it was and tighten it up later. And I just realized that my math is wrong. If we have an, if we have almost half an inch difference between the front and the back, that means we need to move this only a quarter of an inch, since any distance we take out of the front, we're gonna be giving to the back. So, we got that loosened up. Now we need to spin the shaft in order to 
tighten things up. I think we need to go this way. I guess we're gonna find out. We're gonna go check our measurement real quick. Right, I just checked our measurements. Uh, the, the back of the wheel is at two and an eighth, almost two and a quarter, and the front of the wheel is only two inches. So we're gonna keep going here. Uh, helps if I go. Helps if I go the correct direction. Probably take it all the way to the jam nut and take a measurement from there. We just made an adjustment on the tie rod, and you can see we're just short of two inches there, like an inch and 15 sixteenths or an inch and 31 30 seconds. So we're gonna come to the front. In the front, we're just about two and an eighth. Really not gonna bother with that. Um, we're gonna take it for a test drive and see how she does. All right, so as you just saw, our measurements are within an eighth of an inch of each other with a little bit more uh, distance to the front of the tire. So that means we have just a little bit of toe in. We're gonna uh, tighten up the jam nut and our alignment will be done. Oops, if I go the correct direction once again. And just to make that tie rod happy, it's gonna just do that. So that's that. Now. This is supposed to be torqued down about 50 centimeters, newton meters, but I don't know how the hell you're going to get a torque wrench on there. Ain't got no goddamn socket. There you go. So that's the quick, short, easy way to do a DIY home string alignment. Both tires are within an eighth of an inch of straight. Both have about an eighth of an inch of toe in. So like I said, that'll help keep the car a little bit straighter. 
But that's our DIY home alignment. I hope this DIY home alignment was helpful to you guys. It's quick, simple, and easy, and it'll get you a good enough alignment to get you to the professional alignment shop. But that's how you do your own home alignment in a pinch. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you have any comments of how I could have done that easier, make sure to leave your comment down below. And if you want to see what I have in store for this car, be sure to subscribe. Remember, you can always DIY. Now this is supposed to be torqued down to about 47 or 50. Both tires, <clears throat> simple, quick, and easy, and it'll get you to the alignment shop to have it perfectly, to have it perfect.